During the testing of RGCopter 3.1, some users reported that their HUD was moving around crazily, like mine is here. And the reason for this is that uh, to improve performance, we have sped up the SPI bus, which is used to communicate with the MPU6000 uh, chip, which um, has uh, the accelerometers and, and the gyroscopes in it. So when we sped up that uh, bus speed, it uncovered uh, a hardware issue with a, a good number of boards. And the hardware issue is that the 3.3 volt regulator has been burned out. And that means that those chips are running at 5 volts instead of 3.3 volts. And that means that they can't handle the higher bus speed. In this video, I'm going to show how to check whether or not you've blown the 3.3 volt regulator on your APM. So uh, what I have here is uh, two APM 2.5s. The one on the right has a, a blown regulator. What I've done is I've connected up an I2C cable. This usually goes off to the compass, uh, an external compass. And what you want to do, uh, you can see here that there are four wires. There's one red wire, which is the 3.3 volt wire. Then there's the two middle wires, which are used for um, I2C communication. And then there's the last outer wire, the black wire. Uh, which is the ground. So I'm just going to use my volt meter here and check what the voltage is across the two outer wires. Now you could actually do this test, I guess, without attaching uh, an I2C cable, but uh, that could be quite dangerous and you might end up uh, you know, shorting it out, which is not good. So I think using a cable is best. Flip it over like this. And we are there. Make sure you can still see the voltmeter. And then here, there you go. You can see it's gone to 4.9 volts. Uh, of course, I've got the APM connected here through a, through a USB. So this is the one with the blown regulator. Now I'll do the other one. Put the black probe on the outer black connection and the red on the red wire and there we can see it's 3.3 volts. Now the next question of course is how do you blow your 3.3 volt regulator? Well I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, I've heard that if you uh, have the JP1 uh, jumper attached and if you flip the ESCs the wrong way around and connect the battery that that will blow it out but I do not know for sure. 